Good afternoon. Uh, this is Barb, drinking my afternoon coffee in my birthday mug. Love it. It's years old, but I still love it. Welcome to my channel. My channel is B Rex the PR Goddess One. At least for now, it's named that. <clears throat> and um, today is a work from home day. We are um, on our lunch break right now. Why, why am I talking about myself in the plural? There's only one of me. No matter how big I get, there's just one of me. Thank the gods. So, um, yeah, I have some boxes to unpack and I'm going to do them with you. I am going to start with <clears throat> I'll, do... I'll do another video for the other box. I figure why cram? No one wants to see everything rushed. And uh, the longer the video, the longer the upload time. And then, no offense, no one really always has time for an hour out of their day. That's that's a lot to ask of people. So those of you who have watched any of my It Ran Really Long videos, I appreciate you. Because that's like a 24th of your day. And uh, that's even imagining that like everything is, you know, you were awake 24 hours a day. So... I digress. Stabbing these guys. <clears throat> because obviously most of them came flat already. So let's play the next important game. Not just let's unbox what we got from Ulta using coupons and diamond deals. Because I am a diamond member and I um, took care of my diamond deals that I got the other day. Let's also play a game called Let's See What Might Have Shown Up Broken. Not a favorite game of mine, but why not? So I am going to start with the fact that this is not, I don't think, the entire box. Stuff shipped separately. So this is just what's arrived as of today. <clears throat> Let's see what we got up in here. Okay. Now, um, oh Lord, I'm trying to separate out some there was a lot of free diamond deals so i'm trying to move those to the side so i could show you the stuff that was actually purchased oh lord don't be broken it's all smashed up it's smashed assholes pardon my french channeling gentle marbles over there okay i am gonna try and see what's what i don't know if everything's in here okay let's start at the beginning <clears throat> they were doing a deal where you could pick from the Estee Lauder double wear. Um, buy a concealer and a foundation, two for 50, instead of 40 something dollars for one and 30 something dollars for the other. I have been on the fence. I have heard nothing but good things about double wear from dark skinned folks and oily skinned folks, like my personal awesome favorite, one of my favorites, Jackie, I know, I know. So, um, I just didn't have 40 something dollars to blow on a foundation to see if maybe it kind of sort of matched. And honestly, whenever I'm in store, I always forget to color match. So it's one of those things I only remember when I'm shopping online. So this time I decided, let's just jump out there and try it anyway. Oh, by the way, I just realized you can see how filthy my glasses are on camera. Woo! By the way, I have nothing but last night's skincare on because I have not yet showered. I was going to do that next after my lunch video. So it's going to be work, 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 video and coffee, shower, and then look human. So pardon me for my uh, skin oils glowing off the uh, ring light. Okay, so let's get back to the point. <clears throat> in my dirty glasses. So I finally went and I went and uh, splurged on the regular double wear. They had a couple of options, but I figured let's just go with the original. And I tried to color match myself. I ended up with 3W2, which is a warm. Three, I guess, is in like the medium to dark, medium to tan range. Tan, olive, medium dark. I don't know what I am, but it's all kind of that same area. And the shade name is called Cashew. And I think actually from doing it, you know, just from the net and the find your shade thing, I think I did okay. We shall see when we try it on. And I went real traditional. I went with the, just the traditional double wear stay in place concealer. And this one is 3W Medium Warm. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it also looks like it's a pretty good spot on match. Well, poop. 
I guess I did okay. So I got these two things. This is normally 30 and this is normally 43 which would have been $73. I got them both for 50 Rock on. And, and, and there's more. Oh, but wait, is there not always more, my friends? Because the diamond deal was not only the special on these two items. If you bought them, you got a free advanced night repair synchronized multi-recovery complex serum. It's uh, I know I speak English. Really? Seriously? Yeah. It's 0.23 fluid ounces, which would be seven milliliters. And so this would be, a, I, I've, I've gotten little sample sizes of their stuff. I've never tried it. They're sitting there in my backlog of travel size skincare to try. So, I mean, it's not a bad amount. And if you can tell with the light, it's full up to about there. So it's still not too shabby. And honestly, I have seen good things about it. I'll try it and see. So this was my little bundle deal. Three for 50. Not too shabby. Well, technically three for 50 because, you know, reasons. So the next thing they gave us was a code to get your choice of two shades. But, you know, there was just one that you were going to get. So pick A or pick B. Pure by Barbie, the uh, collaboration, and it is the Barbie Gloss Signature High Shine Lip Gloss. Everyone who knows me knows I'm not a lip gloss person. I mean, I do chapstick and lip masks in the house because I swear by all things ultra matte transfer resistant when it comes to lipstick. But if you're giving it to me for free, I like the color, it's gold. They had a pink one, but I went with the gold one, which is called Girl Gloss. The pink one was called Boss Gloss, whatever. I like the packaging. It's very pretty. Value is $18, so this is free. I think the value on this guy was listed as like $10, bucks, 15 I could be wrong. So already I've made out $25 there, and I've saved $23 on the Estee Lauder Double Wear stuff. So that's not bad. Also, they were giving away another um, free gift with purchase. You didn't need a code for it. You just needed to click in the email and add it. Kylie Lip Kit, and the Lip Kit color is called Ulta Beauty, which is described as like a, ma a mauvish shade. Let's see. Hey, you want to give me free lipstick and lip liner? Okay. And I can kind of pull these off. This would be a nude on Barb on my skin tone. I go any lighter, I look zombified. So, you know, I mean, the box is a little banged up from being crushed in here with God knows what else, but not too shabby. What else did I do that's in here? Oh, they had a um, free Scent Organics Discovery Scent Mist kit. You got four two milliliter um, samples. It's the little box they come in. Sample scents are called Rise and Shine, which is considered tangerine and hibiscus. I am bright. Juicy pineapple and salted coconut. I am radiant. Lily of the Valley and Jasmine Absolute. And then So Serene, Green Tea and Mandarin. And on the box, it tells you it's a 100% vegan formula. What's in each of them? I like this because this is very helpful if I like these by Scent Organics, Scent Beauty. Let's open it and take a look. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? I mean, they're sample size sprays, but they're pretty highly filled to the top. See? So, you know, I'm... I'm all about this. They're going to stay in their little box. A, because it will help them stay in a cool, dark place. That's so they'll last longer. But I kind of really am feeling these. Yeah. What else did I get? So after that, I really kind of went cray cray with getting stuff that was either on sale, like IE clearance or um, holiday kits. So I got this holiday kit because I always like the little Clinique holiday kit boxes. I don't know. And this was the... Um, Rollerball of Happy and the Gelato Body Cream, which matches in Clinique Happy. And as you can tell, $9.50. And it's so cute. I usually get these to be either a, an additional stocking stuffer or emergency gift. If I have a friend who um, gifts me something and I had not originally planned on gifting them anything for the holidays, either because I didn't find anything, think of anything. That's like the emergency backup. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? So between that little sucker, put these little things over here, and 
two other items that are in this box. You'll see why I got the candle set this year. I'm pissed, and I'll tell you why. First up, it's bad enough they've changed at Ulta what their price points are for what to get to different levels. That makes me mad. I can go rouge at Sephora for spending way less money than I can go platinum or diamond, sorry. Whatever one the highest one is now. I don't remember if it's diamond or platinum, but I'm the highest one. Not that I'm bragging because obviously it shows I have a problem or it just shows I'm smart and whenever I'm going to buy something anyway, I'm going to go where I get my points. But yeah, so now you, I've already dealt with that last year, that that was my big screw you, pissed off, shake my fist at the man. But my other fist at the man thing is this. They used to do all kinds of gifts, not just candles. We've, I've gotten robes. We've seen bags, but they used to be at $40 for fragrance. Well, now this year they decided Oh my God, it's a pandemic and so many people are losing their jobs. Fuck you, pardon my French. Let's just up it to 50. Talk about you're supposed to be caring for your, you know, you're not earning any customer happy points with me for that. I would be more touched if you said, you know what? Let's drop it to 35 because of the pandemic. No, that just shows corporate greed, people. Corporate greed. Now I sound like some sort of hippie. I'm sorry. But I believe, yeah, businesses are businesses. But at the same time, the businesses that are screwing over the little man are never the little mom and pop businesses that are getting ahead by making an extra dollar. No, no, no. It's always these big mega conglomerates. Look at you, Jeff Bezos. Walmart Plus, where there's really no value to your plus. Anyway. I got the candle set last year and I gift two years ago and I gifted it away to a friend, an acquaintance, now a friend, but it was an acquaintance at the time, a lady that my husband worked with who's amazing. Her and her husband are just wonderful people. And it, it was a beautiful set. I loved it. I wound up getting a set from somebody else as a gift to me. So I still have a set and I'm like, rock on. See, you give and then you get without expecting it. So this set, I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. But normally they tell you a little bit more about the set also. They didn't tell us jack nor crap about anything about the set. Like, what did they smell like? Like, like the set from a couple years ago, they said, you know, these sets, they smell like um, spiced vanilla, blah, blah, blah. And it made sense. Well, now I have to wait until I get the set to open it and look. And now I find out that the, the pale cream colored canister, and these are ceramic, so they'll be reusable, is labeled with vanilla glow. Smells a little bit like your stereotypical vanilla bean from Bed, uh, Bath and Body Works, which smells okay in the canister, but for some reason on me, it never smells right. So in a candle, it'll be fine. They gave us these nice little foam blocks in between to keep them from knocking about, which is nice. Then this, I'm going to the other end because ah, I'm trying to make it balance on the edge of this box, which obviously I have no balance. That's why I didn't do well on point and why I stopped ballet. I am a klutz. Okay then, so let's keep moving. So this canister obviously is more of a marble. It's more, this one's like a cream, not even, the other one was cream. This one's more of a white with black, obviously marble. It says winter forest glam. Imagine a faint bit of pine with a faint bit of like vanilla or cinnamon. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I like that it's not, oh my God, so strong that it kills you because that would be a little much for me. And they're sitting in a very nice box, separated, and they have foam at the bottom. So if you want to give this as a gift, the wrapping is great. Okay, now the black one that looks like a black marble, maybe with a hint of blue, maybe with a hint of silver. It depends on the light because, like, it looks bluish in this light, but it's really more silver. And this one says sparkle and spice. It neither smells sparkly nor spicy. I mean, it smells a little spicier than the Vanilla Glow. Not a hint of pine like the Winter Glam, but still like one of those nondescript semi-holiday scents. And again, not over the top with the scent. And these candles all say that they are made in India. Trim wick prior to burning, blah, blah, blah. You know, your basic stuff about candles. But it doesn't tell me if they're soy candles, if they're paraffin, if they're lead wick, which, you know, you should be, you should always check because when you burn lead wicked candles, you are inhaling lead dust and that could be problematic to your brain health. Just saying, no one wants to have lead poisoning issues like the poor folks out in Flint or the folks from the 
Roman Empire or anything else. But now the box says limited edition candle set, very nondescript, marble, gray, foam lining on top. In all, it's not a bad box. It's nothing. It's borderline nice packaging to borderline, you could tell this is a free gift. And it doesn't catch, as you can tell. Like it sits nicely, but there's no like latch or catch or anything. So in the world of wrapping products, I would say this is maybe for a package like a seven, seven and a quarter. It's not terrible. Could have been a little bit better. Probably would have been more expensive. They probably would have made us spend like, you know, $85 or something for this candle set made in a third world nation. Or is India second world now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't hate on India. I like India. I think they're great. I could see these being a little higher in demand. I don't know. For me, it's almost like if I'm going to have to spend a hell of a lot of money, I want something that looks really high end and classy. And this is like, this is like Payless shoes trying to pretend they're Manolos. I mean, they still work, but they're never going to be a Manolo. So don't expect diptyque from these candles. This is not them. I, I'm not judging. They're still a good candle. They will still burn nicely in the house, give a nice aura. But if you want like something super scented that you can light before uh, company comes and like expect your whole like entertaining area where your candles are lit to really, oh wow, it smells like you're baking or you have a fire going. These will probably not be the candles for you. Yeah. Just saying. There's a brand that they sell the Value Spa candles over on, um, Sephora. I am addicted to those. Those those are amazing. Those are worth the money. I started with one I got as a gift for purchase two years ago at Christmas time, last year at Christmas time. Can't remember if I was at the apartment or here. I think it was two years ago. I was at the apartment. And uh, I've actually started to go back for the big ones now. And I got pissed that one of the sets of the three little ones that I was going to break up as like stocking stuffers was sold out because I tried to be a good girl and not shop the Rouge sale the first day it started because it was like, you don't need to shop. And then it was like, ooh, Christmas and birthday season. You need to shop. Get up in there. And then I got up in there and like some of the stuff I wanted was gone and I had no one to blame but myself. But you get it. You get me. Ugh. Okay, so that brick is down there. So, you may ask, how did you earn the candles if this was $9.50? They earned the candles by indulging in the little double-ended mini. So you get two little minis of the um, Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume. One is the regular one, and the other is the Legere. So it's a slight twist on the original scent. I like the original scent. I got it because of one of the... Um, the Sephora Favorites fragrance panels that you could sniff all the different little samples and play with them on yourself. Wording. We're still doing phrasing, aren't we? We should be doing phrasing. Okay. What I meant was experiment by wearing the different fragrances they gave you samples of. And then they also gave you in that package a certificate for a full size of one of any of the included fragrances. So that's when I learned to love this perfume. And last year I got a, um, a mini of just the original inside. Oh, it's almost like the, um, the Rihanna mini fairy poof that was inside a little hollow plastic Christmas ornament, which I got as a birthday gift for my sister-in-law. She bought it for me afterwards. And then she was like, I hadn't, didn't know what I did with it. So I bought it for you now. And I'm like, it's, it's fine. It's hanging on my wall. I haven't used it yet, but it's cute. But yeah, so last year I got the perfume that came the same way. I took the ornament out and I put tinsel in it and I stuck it on the Christmas tree and I put the perfume right away. I didn't even wrap it. I buy for myself. Let's not lie. So yeah, so that's what I got for 25 and then I had been eyeballing this. I have minis of this. Two of them I got from Gift With Purchase over at Sephora. This is the um, Victor and Rolf Bonbon. I like it. In fact, it's what made me be willing to actually sit down and maybe kind of sort of try their flower bomb. Oh, and I like the men's spice bomb and spice bomb extreme. I steal the samples from my husband when they come in because I'm always like, oh, I'll pick a sample for him. And then I go, yeah, he never wears the cologne anyway. Let me take it back. So, yes, I am a, um, I don't want to use that phrase, which is so derogatory to people. Indian giver. That's, that's like saying someone is jipping you. That is derogatory towards people of the Romy 
uh, Romani background. So yes, I don't like to use those phrases. So what I've done is I have let him long-term borrow them until he fails to wear them. And then I decide I feel like wearing that scent and that's where we're at. So yeah, so this beautiful little set with another little actual dabber size mini and a little tube of body cream and a beautiful display box, which like, I don't know, I might just use it for something else artistic, um, is actually, this was 20 and this was 25. So that was 45. And then the little Clinique ornament, there you go. I hit my 50. I got three perfumes and I tried to like in my own way, stick it to the man like that, but Hey, you know, we'll see. And of course, again, this was free with any $25 gift, I mean, fragrance purchase. So technically I got three candles and I got four sample perfumes. Not a bad way when you think about it. Okay, so that took care of those items. Let me show you some of the stuff that I had bought on sale pricing or clearance pricing, because some of these things are definitely clearance price, which I've already learned from the way that they price their stuff. This means these aren't gonna be here anymore. So, you know, I better snap while the snapping is good. All right, so the bronze palette from Kylie. I have the blue honey. I used to have either the bronze or the burgundy. I can't remember. I didn't like the formulation of that one. I don't know why. I gave it away. So now it looked different, repackaged. I think I had the burgundy. Yes. So this is the bronze one. I liked the black. So, um, and that center shade over here, citrine, those two really spoke to me. This Jasper is so pale cream. It looks white on the screen from the light. So I apologize. Let me check. Try changing the light a little bit. That's off. Uh, hold on. That's a little less out there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you as I work with this. <coughs> okay. So these are nice neutrals. I figure I could either give it as a gift, keep it for myself. It was on sale for 12 bucks. I figured, you know what? Go for it. And then because I was like, well, I already have blue honey and I purchased this guy for 12. I might as well check out the new packaging. Looks like they reformulated it, but you know what? A little piece of me says the pans also look smaller. And here is the burgundy one. I liked the shimmers and I thought I had other things that looked just like it. And I probably do, but I was like, eh, for 12 bucks, it's kind of like buying a ColourPop palette. Same quality, same everything. Not that I'm a fan of Kylie. I don't think any one Jenner or Kardashian is deserving of my attention. That's just me. I'm too old for that. Sorry. I ain't got nothing against them, but I'm definitely not for them. You know what I mean? Okay. Next thing. If you'd seen one of my um, earlier haul videos, I had snagged the chocolate orange and the chocolate mint. Well, now I got chocolate cherry. He was also going on sale. He wasn't $3.49 like he was at the store in person. He was $3.99. Oh, 50 cents more. So let's see what he looks like. This time he has his colors on the front, not the back. And he smells like cough medicine. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I don't go buying makeup for the way it smells. That's what perfume's for. And I definitely don't go snorting eyeshadow because I'm relatively normal. Anyway, so here's what the colors look like there on the box. And that's what they look like. Or maybe we'll do it like this so they match a little better. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Here we go. On the box and on the screen. They look identical. So they did a really good job here with the photograph. So if you're looking at the box on that one, you can honestly say that they look fine. It's not like weird, you know, sometimes they say the ink on the, the pictures and magazines and stuff that doesn't look right. Okay, the whole first top row here, straight out shimmer. Bottom row, this shade here and this shade here are matte. These are shimmer. So if you need a lot of mattes, for this kind of color family, not the, the mini for you. I would say get the full size. It probably has more mattes. And that's the thing. With a lot of these, these are supposed to be the little pocket size ones for travel. They usually have a corresponding full size. So if you like the idea or the color family, but you're like, oh, I need more matte or oh, I need more shimmer, check out the full size. Re standard retail on the full size ones is usually 15. You can tell when they're going on sale. Like as in, I'm not going to be carried at Sephora anymore kind of sale when they're like $7.49. So 7 dollars 
sometimes they put them on regular sale like just for the moment like buy two or whatever like sometimes they'll say they're on sale just like half off or whatever buy two get one free or something then you know it'll be carried again but yeah they do have a full size of this but this is the mini chocolate cherry next one also from I Heart Revolution, aka Makeup Revolution. It's one of these uh, little donut line ones. And this one is called Custard Fill. And it's supposed to have five intensely pigmented shadow shades. It's all sparkly. It just looks like weird craft glitter glued to the top. And it sticks out 3D. So if you plan on carrying this in a makeup bag, it will probably snag crap. So it has the colors here and here. For you to see but it's also taped shut instead of just being closed so wait a second let me get the handy box cutter for that how the hell does this thing open oh well that's odd <clears throat> okay so i guess i use this for everything i really do so it opens almost like a powder which is strange odd not weird just different funky cool so you'll get the bottom of it first and then the bottom the top just comes right out so let's see how this one looks lots of top heavy stuff oh it does have a little plastic very nice warm shades i like this one here it's almost like a what i call a burnished gold like an antique gold where it looks like it's starting to skew almost to a blackened gold but not a true black so you could put it over a black primer it would look really nice or a black eye crayon um you've got a real bright these are all shimmer yellow gold here and then you've got other warm shades bronzies and golds and so forth i am very happy there was another one that was i think more greens but it sold out damn it because somebody with a wall of eyeshadow a literal bookcase of eyeshadow palettes and then a basket of mini palettes on top of that is gonna be upset well yes actually i am but that's besides the point so this is actually spongy which is bizarre i would think that somebody's dog if they left this in the wrong place would probably try and use it as a chew toy so just so you know and also i would assume that these little flaky things that are glued to the top could come off and injure your animal or small children so what i'm going to say is if you do have inquisitive puppers because we all know that pups can be a lot like little kids um and then again little children too i mean i'm lucky i've got ancient cats who don't really get into that much anymore and i have no small children i have no children at all but if you're not like me you might want to make sure that any of these in the line are safe from little ones be they fur or not okay after that last thing i had bought that's arrived so far are a couple of the Maybelline lipsticks that were being knocked down to like $3.99, $4.99. I have some of these shades already, but some of the ones were ones I had wanted to go back for. So this one right here, I got three in the brown, beige, neutrally kind of cloudy package, and then one in the blue. So this first one I'm opening is color 555. It's called Naked Coral. I think that would be a decent little, um, no, just watch it. Oh, that's pretty. This will be a very nice, um, nude for me. Lipsticks like this, I tend to leave at my desk at work during regular times when we're not wearing masks in a pandemic because they go on really nicely and, <clears throat> sorry, changing the weather. We got cold and then we got hot again. Well, getting hot. It's like 60 something today and it was in the 30s. So my sinuses are drippy. Not like you cared about my internal plumbing, but whatever. So that one's definitely going to be a keeper because I do like that color. The next one is 550, which is called Honey Pink. This might be too pink for me. Mm, let's try it. It's a little borderline for me. I might be able to mix it with something dark. But for three bucks, it'll live in the desk and be just fine. Okay, the last one is in the, in the bronze beige cases is 560 Raw Chocolate. I know I own this one. I just don't know where the hell I did with it. I might have left it at the office. Definitely more brown undertone. <clears throat> Maybe I'll mix that one and the, the honey pink together to make a custom color. Three bucks each, not too shabby. Yeah, because basically to get to my $24 to get my free lip gloss, $25, these two were $24, you know, because it's $12 and 12 
So even before I got to the Estee Lauder deal, I was already there with a bunch of these guys and these two guys being $3 and change a piece. Okay, the last lipstick, the one that I got that's in the blue, is from the Bold Collection because these other ones were from the matte. I like a matte, but they're more of a creamy matte, but not bad. They're not a transfer resistant matte. This right here is shade 770. It's called Mauve It, and this one was $4. And this one is a little purpley. Well, let's see. Oh, we like. We likey. I don't think that's bad for a collection of nude lipsticks. Gotta admit, not too shabby. But yeah, this, this is going to go in the gift pile because I, I don't wear this. You know what? This, my girl, my sister. Not because I'm cheap, but because I know she likes pink packaging. And I think she would wear lip gloss, at least in the house. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But yeah, so that's what's inside this box. It's all empty now. Yay. Perfumes for me because I shop for my own damn Christmas gifts because when I was a kid, my family was great with Christmas and birthdays. But by the time I got to be like a teenager, like it fell away. And like my mom and my aunts, were, because my aunts are like my moms also, because my mom is the baby sister of them. And they're all like a year apart. So they're all like this, the three of them. So one has kids, the other has kids. And especially because my mom got married young at like 20, 21. And they got married in their 30s. We were the kids when they were little, when they were working and they were young. So if they want to buy something to spoil a child, my brother and I got it. So, yeah. And another thing is even my older aunts, like I have an aunt that's old enough to be a grandmother of mine. Because my grandmother had her eight kids spread out. They would give me little mini perfumes when they would get like things from the department stores. Like they'd go buy their own scent and they'd get like a gift with purchase that came with a bunch of stuff. Guess who got stuff? I got stuff. So that's why I've been doing this since I was like three. Just not talking to the camera, talking to my imaginary friends or the dolls or the neighbors or whatever. So I was YouTubing before YouTube was a YouTube, but just not on film. Anyway, so yeah, so these are my gifts to me. And if I really wanted to pretend, I could say that Aunt A got me this, Aunt E got me this. Because yes, I have an aunt whose name, one starts with an A and one starts with an E. And yeah, so that's where we are. 32 minutes, bing, bang, boom, in and out like the wind. I will follow up when I get the last bits of stuff. And thank the gods, nothing is broken. You have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in my channel and you want to see more of my stuff, I have a bunch of videos below already. If you are interested in finding when I post things brand new, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I do not have any set upload schedule. Other than that, stay well, try and stay calm, relax. Be kind to others because there's a lack of kindness in the world. So be that kindness you wish to see in the world. And uh, follow all the scientific guidelines regarding um, the pandemic so we can all get back to normal. I don't care if you believe in science or not. I don't care if you think everything's a conspiracy. That's fine. You can think those things. But think them in a damn mask. Because asthmatics and people with other issues, you know... I'm thinking about my friends who are on dialysis. I'm thinking about my friends who are diabetics. I'm thinking about my friends with high blood pressure or maybe some other condition. I'm thinking about the elderly. I'm thinking about the little children that they said, oh, they can't catch it. And now they only are catching it. So yeah, opinions are great. Viewpoints are great, but follow science anyway. Thank you and have a great afternoon.